Now, I have asked you guys an age-old question over and over and over again in my videos. And it seems it has become time that I need to answer that question myself. Hello, little beans. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to talk to you about today's topic, but not before we give away Robux to the winner of today's Robux giveaway. Congratulations, unhappy or rare, you have won today's giveaway. And if you guys want to enter the next one, you know what to do. Leave a nice comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed and have liked the video. And of course, include the keyword for your entry, which will come up on the video at some point randomly as the video continues. Now, as you guys know, over the last few months, I have asked you over and over and over again, what your favorite update and what your, in your opinion, the best update Royal High has ever had is. Now, you have asked me over and over again what I think the best update in Royal High is and what my opinion is regarding my favorite update is something you ask me on my streams almost every day. So let's talk about it. What is my favorite and in my opinion the best Royal High update ever? You know what? I've been preparing for this for a while because I even have some screenshots. Obviously, I think it's easy to say, and you guys should obviously know, my favourite update ever is Wickery Cliff. I absolutely love Wickery Cliffs, but specifically, I think Wickery Cliffs this year that just went, 2022, was the best and here's why. Not only did we get the beautiful Whimsy Witch set, which is obviously one of the most gorgeous sets in the game, and of course the Steampunk set as well, one available for candies so you didn't have to have diamonds to buy it, and one available for diamonds of course. I think that was an incredible choice by the developers to allow us to have one that we could grind for, and one that we could buy, so that we actually were able to get stuff without having to just constantly grind diamond. For those people who didn't want to have to spend Robux for diamonds and things like that, I think having a candy purchase set was a fantastic idea. Now, I remember collecting my candy and it is one of the more tiresome things to do, but the developers gave us much more interesting ways this time around to actually do it. For example, making it so that we could play the ghost game from the last couple of years was one of the best ways to collect candy. So much more fun than apple bobbing or trick or treating in my opinion. Now, now, the new sets, you guys, I think were just gorgeous. And even though we didn't get the sleeves, I was still impressed by them. But one of the things I think is most exciting about Wickery Cliffs is all of the chests that we get to get things from. These chests are located around the map and also include hidden ones inside of the maze. And this year's maze was easily the best maze we've ever had. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this maze was incredible. You guys will remember some of the amazing things we got to win this time, but one thing you will never forget is that beautiful map. As you guys know, Wickery Cliffs always has small little tweaks, but the most recent Wickery Cliffs update that we've had, I think, was beautiful. Everything about the map from the year before was kept, except for small changes here and there, including the addition of the maze, but I think everything about the map was gorgeous. You know, obviously, we could do those apple bobbing if we wanted to, or of course, you could walk around and enjoy the scenery. But one thing I think will be on everyone's mind when they think Wickery Cliffs was, of course, the Mount Blackwood Caverns, the cave system built by Lawns, Coffee, and Cesare for last year's update. It's easy to say, this was one of the most both stressful and exciting things I've ever done in Royal High. It irritated me, but made me happy at the same time. I enjoyed it, but got stressed at the same time. And I think most of the community probably could agree with me equally that it was both annoying, but also really, really fun. Now, you guys, everything about the artwork from this update was gorgeous. All of the icons were beautiful, and the map itself was just absolutely stunning. I will forever be blown away by this utterly gorgeous, gorgeous design. And I am truly in debt to the update for giving me one of the best experiences I've ever had. Now, interestingly as well, you guys, it was also great for my career because it was actually my most successful month on YouTube ever. Despite the fact that we used to get more regular updates, for some reason, Wickery Cliffs last year was my most successful month. I got the most views I've ever had in a month on YouTube ever. And I'm not entirely sure why you specifically loved that month, but you did. And I was blown away by the support on that update. To be honest with you guys, I still think 
that that update October last year was my favorite month that I have had as a YouTuber. Not only because the update was amazing, but because you guys were just so supportive and the community really came together to make my experience wonderful. So, what is your favorite update for Royal High? Let me know in the comments down below why it's your favorite update and which one it is. I'm really looking forward to reading through the comments and seeing what you guys say. And don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Robux as well. Now, if you guys want to see me play more games with my friends like I was before, playing various different things like Doors or Evade or seeing me poop myself in horror games like The Mimic, make sure you go subscribe to my group channel that we just made. It's my brand new channel. It's called Be Plays and Friends. The link is down below. You can search for it. We'll pop a screenshot on screen now so you know what to look for. On that channel, we are posting regularly all sorts of different content and we just got The Mimic up on there since you guys requested it. And I'm not gonna lie, I screamed a lot. So go check it out. Thanks for watching, you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe and click that bell and use star code B and I'll see you soon. Bye.